Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about Manchester United performance of the August month 2017. We all know that the Manchester United played three matches and owned three and uh, first match we played against West Ham, second match we played against Swansea at away at Stadium and third match we played Leicester at home. So first of all I give you the overall results of these matches. Uh, at 13 August we played West Ham, we um, scored 4 goals, conceded none, decent performance and uh, good attacking football we see from Jose Mourinho's team and uh, Lukaku scores 2 goals, Paul Pogba scores 1 goal and Anthony Martial coming on from the bench scores 1 goal. Moving on to the next match on this played in 19 August and in this same day Manchester United played Swansea City and Jose Mourinho put his lineup as the same as West Ham game and the result was also same 4 nil at away game at Liverpool Stadium last year we won 3-1 against them and this time we won 4 nil against them this match also Lukaku scored 1 Paul Pogba 1 Anthony Martial 1 and Eric Bailey 1 so this is this the match when Eric Wiley scored his first goal for the Manchester United and moving on to the next match the last match of this August month in the Premier League Manchester United played with Leicester at home in this match in the first half we finished a nil nil and uh, we are starting to talk about thought about that it might be going to be those are days like uh, we drew at home last year too many times it will it can finish also uh, nil nil so I was uh, really um, tensed when the match um, ongoing when a half time if you, uh, on a half time we the score line was nil nil but uh, when the substitution came on this time Anthony Masio start the match Rashford on the on the bench when Rashford and Fellaini came on the match uh, was a little bit faster than mm, the first half and we created a lot more chances than from the uh, corner Hindi uh, Victorian provided an assist and Rashford scored the, scored the goals then uh, Fellaini also scored the goals so I should say that this the August month is a very decent month for Manchester United uh, first of all that we didn't concede any goal it's a clean sheet for three matches. We scored ten goals, and uh, we are top of the league. So I'm not one to carry away by this, but uh, we scored ten goals in a uh, three matches. And uh, last year it was really difficult to score goals because there were, there wasn't a lot of movements out there. Uh, because Ibrahimovic, we know that Ibrahimovic is not a quickest person on the team so but uh, his 28 goals is outstanding I should say um, he signed also this year with Manchester United and I have high hopes for him that he will deliver like that previous year and score more goals and one thing I definitely want for him Ibrahimovic and uh, other Manchester United fans because I am also a Manchester United fan that uh, we must win uh, the Premier League this season. I know this is a not a easy thing to say because uh, still 35 matches to go. Uh, this is only the weaker teams and I should say small teams, um, tough teams yet to come. So I think um, it will be tough to say at this point of time when I'm recording this um, uh, video. So uh, it's a tough thing to say because. Uh, we don't know the what is going to happen because uh, uh, from September month the Champions League will start, the EFL Cup will start, so there will be um, uh, lots of matches. Player will, player, players will get get tired. So um, now the international break is ongoing, so that injuries can happen. 
and Manchester United don't have lots of players in the wide area. So we used to play um, uh, Lingard, Rashford, Martial, Mata there. So if anyone get injured, so we have a lot, at least option there. So I don't think that uh, there will be a very good performance if someone get injured from the wide areas because uh, the wide area is a very important part of the game. Uh, we didn't uh, able to sign even Perisic from Inter. The Jose Mourinho wanted that for signing is a wide position he wanted, but uh, we failed to sign anyone from there. So, but uh, we signed three players in this transfer window. First, in, uh, Victor Lindelof, second, Romero Lukaku, and third is Nemanja Matic. I think uh, both of them are very good signing. Uh, Victor Lindelof, he had two features uh, this season. I think uh, from the like the likes last season when Nick Mkhitaryan was um, uh, not able to play our English game because uh, it was tough for him. The new things, new teammates, new style of play, new area. So he have, has to adopt things. So I think uh, Victor is taking that time and uh, it's okay for us because we have some other defenders right now, Smalling, Blind, Rojo is getting back. So I think uh, we are not tensed or uh, we are not scary at the back because uh, we have lots of players at the back. But uh, on the attacking front, uh, we are not have we don't have any uh, huge players because Ibrahimovic uh, cannot make return before I think uh, November, maybe November or December will be uh, his returning time. Jose Mourinho saying that he will return on January, but I think uh, Jose Mourinho also sometimes play mind games. We all know that. But uh, I think uh, Ibrahimovic might return on um, November and uh, December, maybe. So we finger crossed. We hope that he returns very soon and add to our firepower because um, in September we have lots of matches, EFL Cup, Champions League, Premier League. So we cannot afford to lose points in the early stages of this uh, um, season because um, we are playing small teams right now. Next stop is our Stoke City at um, Britannia Stadium. Uh, we know that's not going to be an easy match because uh, they uh, last time they played uh, Arsenal and they won. So it's not going to be easy. So I know Jose Mourinho will be prepared for that. And uh, But we don't want to drop any points, uh, a single point from that because we want uh, every three points from every weak opponent because uh, on, this is the only way when only way we can win the league because if we can manage to get three points from every weak opponent so I think um, there's a good way to done uh, the done the season and uh, the good way to win the league because if we started to drop points right now uh, then uh, later of this season uh, it's going to be very tough because we don't know how teams are going to react and what going to happen. Injuries might come up that and uh, suspension can happen. We can lose important points. So anything can happen. Uh, we cannot predict all things. So I think uh, we should uh, keep the screen sheet ongoing. We need to focus on the next match, forget about future matches, and uh, we need to work on the coming matches because uh, if we can manage to get three points from Stoke City, then uh, we'll face Everton. And that time, if we can also get three times three points from Everton, that will be a great result for us because uh, five consecutive games, five wins, 15 points, so it will give a very big boost for us. So I think uh, we need to uh, work on that. But uh, if we evaluate 
the performance of August month, we'll see that uh, decent performance, I should say, in all three matches. Uh, we are not concerned at the back because Matt is giving us a uh, wide area protection on the back and Eric Bailey and Phil Jones playing uh, quite a good match every week. So they are very strong. We are defensively well. We made very few mistakes uh, and also from luckily the, our opponents uh, didn't uh, take any chances from those, those mistakes. But I saw some mistakes against Leicester game and Swansea game. So um, I think uh, that will be in trouble if we make mistakes in uh, big games like Manchester City, Liverpool, uh, Tottenham like teams. So we need to solve that problem but uh, our problem is mainly uh, we need to score goals very fast because we cannot afford to give our opponents feedback and defend uh, for the very long time because uh, that will um, uh, in increase their confidence and that will uh, motivate them to score against us. So last season we saw that many things happened. We um, uh, failed to score early stages, then we consider a goal and at last we manage a draw and uh, that's not the way we're going to win the league. So if we want to win the league, we need to score early goals because only that's the way if we score early goals, opponents will come to us. There will be spaces behind to running because we have the very good runners like Marcos Rasper, uh, Anthony Martial and Romelu Lukaku. They can make runs and uh, Pogba can pass and Hendrik Mkhitaryan also can assist very good, very uh, wisely, I think. Uh, but uh, we need to score really fast goals uh, beginning of the match. Uh, that is uh, my point. And I know Jose Mourinho knows that because uh, he knows everything from everything from uh, for him, from his team. And uh, for the fans, I should say, uh, fans are very optimistic right now, uh, including me that I am very hopeful uh, we can win the league this season because Ibrahimovic's um, uh, target is to win the league. He came here to win the league and I think uh, like player like Ibrahimovic deserved to win the league because uh, he won league every country he has played. So we don't want him to miss out this uh, amazing record. So I think Manchester United should work on that uh, if we uh, think about the Champions League places, so Champions League matches, and I think uh, maybe we can go last eight or last four something because uh, our squad don't have that kind of depth because we have only one holding midfielder that can play um, uh, a world class every week. So like Matic, uh, we know Michael Carrick is uh, old and uh, he cannot play every match or every match so and the Herrera he's just a central midfielder he is not a, a defensive midfielder uh, he can he job done can done job very well at Chelsea last season but uh, he is not a defensive midfielder so I think uh, we I think we surely qualify for the um, uh, knockout stages, uh, but uh, I think uh, maximum we can go last eight or last four. If we get, we are lucky, then we will get easy teams. Then we, uh, and then I consider to going the semi-finals, maybe final. So you cannot underestimate Jose Mourinho. So. Um, I think Champions League is not a priority this season for for me and uh, for Manchester United board. I think they are prioritize the league because we have a league since Sir Alex Ferguson left. So we need to win the league. We need to show our opponents. We need to show our rivals that we can win the league after Sir Alex Ferguson. So um, after David Moyes and Luis Van Gaal, uh, our team is broken down and Jose Mourinho building something. And uh, last season he won. 
the Europa League, I think uh, that's a very big boost to us. If we can, I think that if we can win the Europa League, then we can win the league this season. I'm not talking about Champions League. Uh, our Premier League is good enough for me and maybe good enough for every additional fans out there through the whole world. So I think uh, we must prioritize the league this season and maybe we can go for FA Cup or EFL Cup too. That's it from today's video. Thank you guys for watching for this video. I will come back with another video soon. So goodbye for now and stay tuned with my channel. Thank you. Don't